Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Today I will show you how you can create awesome Facebook video ads using PowerPoint. Let's get started. Inspiration for today's video come from Kevin David, who is a true Facebook ad master. I have always wanted to learn more about Facebook advertising, so I have recently decided to join Kevin David's Facebook course. And you know, I can tell you one thing, it is mind-blowing how much information and value he provides. So if you're interested in Facebook advertising as well, I definitely recommend to check out his free webinar right here. Link is in the video description. And now let's continue with the tutorial. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we should find out what kind of aspect ratio we should use for our video. So let's go to Facebook Business Manager and let's go to Creative Hub and let's find this beautiful green button, create mockup. Let's click on it and let's choose single video. And here we should see the requirement for the aspect ratio of the video and the recommended aspect ratio is vertical 4 by 5. So now let me show you how you can set up this aspect ratio in PowerPoint. As always, let's open up a fresh blank new presentation. Let's set the layout to blank. Now let's go to design tab Click on slide size, custom slide size. Remember the aspect ratio is 4 to 5. So here for the height I input 50 centimeters, for the width 40 centimeters, so 4 by 5. Click OK, maximize, and here we have 4 by 5 slide size. All right. So now let's fill this slide with some pictures. And to do that, let's just go first to slide master view. Let's find a slide layout which looks like uh, completely blank, uh, this one. Let's just make sure by selecting Ctrl A, let's delete everything and let's insert a full screen image placeholder. So just draw a image placeholder and drag it so it nicely covers the whole slide. Beautiful, now we can exit from the slide master view. Alright, let's select this layout that we just did. Now let's click on this image placeholder and let's, for example, insert a photo of a car. Let's say we are creating a video for our some kind of sports car shop. Let's say we're selling sports car. Now let's duplicate this uh, slide. Let's delete the picture and let's insert a different picture. So let's make uh, four slides in total. And remember, you can always hit on crop and adjust the positioning of your photo. And when you're happy, click on crop again. So for the last slide, let's choose this image. And let's uh, click on crop and move this photo a little bit to the right side. Beautiful. And if you would like to find these beautiful pictures, just go to unsplash.com, type into the search bar something like sports car and you will get a bunch of beautiful pictures. I'll put a link in the video description. So now let's select all of our slides, hit Ctrl A and in the transitions tab set it to morph. So all of the slides will be using the morph transition. Now let's copy the picture from the second slide and let's paste it on the first slide. And make sure that this picture touches the right uh, edge of the first slide. Something like this. Okay. So this is the first slide. Now let's copy the photo from the first slide and let's paste it onto the second slide. Okay. Let's make it sure that it's in the center. Let's activate the guides so that we better see where is the center. And now let's move it halfway to the left side and move it to the back. Beautiful. So on the first slide, this photo is in the center and this one is on the right. And on the second slide, this photo is in the center and this photo is in the back and moved halfway to the left side. 
So Morph Transition is activated and now let me demonstrate what kind of effect we have created. Skadoosh ladies and gentlemen, parallaxed photo animation. Looks really beautiful. And now all that's left to do is to apply this same effect to the rest of the slides. Alright, now let's go to the transition step and let's set one second duration for the transitions, which means each slide will transition after one second. You can set any amount that you want, but let's stick it to one second. Now let's go to File, Export, Create a Video, and here you can choose any quality that you want, even 4K is possible, but let's stick to 1080. And here for the seconds spent on each slide, let's leave it at zero seconds because PowerPoint will remember that we have set it to one second for each slide. So don't worry about it. Just leave it at zero seconds. Choose your destination folder. Give it a name, some awesome, beautiful name for your video. Click save and PowerPoint will do its magic. It will create MP4 file that you can use in Facebook and websites or even upload to YouTube. So let's just check if our video looks okay. Everything seems to work fine. Some awesome parallax action going on. Beautiful. Now we can upload this video to our Facebook business manager. All right, so let's uh, choose our video. So the video is uploaded and now we can fill the rest of the text boxes. For example, our page name. So let's insert one skill and let me quickly fill the rest of the fields. All right, and here's the final result. I have uploaded this video that we have just created on my Facebook page, so feel free to check it out. I think it's super awesome that you can create videos like this and use them, for example, for Facebook marketing. And as I mentioned before, if you'd like to learn more about Facebook marketing, I definitely recommend Kevin David and he has this free webinar, so feel free to check it out. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.